This is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shah. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem. Rakakudash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who people ignorantly call. Yahweh is the name of the Father who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is his son who people ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashem Rakakudash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through the scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, Lord will to the end. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. And Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. Going in today on basically love not the world, you know. You got going on right now, obviously, you got these. The holidays that's going on, <clears throat> and uh, we should know not to get ourselves all involved in it. Now, I'm not saying that you know it just depends on on your level, you know where you at. Because uh, if you fresh in it, you might not even want to be around it. You know, you may not want to go over there and get nothing to eat. If you live with your folks and they celebrating it. You might want to go in, in inside your room and just, you know, uh, just get away from everybody or go, you know, elsewhere. But, you know, if you if you've been in it a while, you might be you might feel all right. You know, you might feel all right with going over there and get you a get you a plate or something because you're going to eat. But you ain't getting involved. But hey, it's really. But of course, not eating no abominable, you know, ish. But. Hey, we we in this world, but that ain't meaning we're supposed to be all involved with this world. You know, we do what we got to do. We get in the matrix and get out. We're not trying to get all involved and get attached to the things that's in this world because you see how people are. And then judgment's going to be coming out too, man. There's going to be a lot of judgment that's going to be going on even during this time of the season where people so-called celebrating. You know, you got people that's that's uh that's getting judged right now. You know, and that's hey, that's that's uh, that's all judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I'm just gonna bring out a few scriptures and Lord will this lesson be at a fine to the LA. I'm gonna keep going on this uh, First John two and fifteen it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." And you got all kind of things that's in this world that people are loving of. One of the major ones is money, and the scriptures speak on, uh, you know, um. The love of money is the root of all evil. And people are, you know, they do anything for the almighty dollar, for the dinero, for the for the ching ching. People, uh, women go to the point where they sell their body, you know, and, and you got men out there doing it as well. But you got, you know, people doing the foul things for money. They'll, they'll, they'll do anything for it. They'll kill for it. You know, they'll do the most profane thing for money. So it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, excuse me, the love of the Father is not in him. So you can't say you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and you still all grouped up with this world. Like you saw uh, old boy T.D. Jakes where he, you know, he all hugged up with with uh, with uh, P. Diddy. Now, whether he that, that transpired or not is not the point. You know, a lot of times we got to uh, do our best to to. Uh, get away from even the appearance of evil you know that's why you know you may not want to go and involve yourself with uh the, your folks they celebrating this christ mass and you know you may not even want to be around it because just the appearance of it you know i'm a matter of fact let me get that one all right this is uh first thessalonians 5 and 22 it says abstain from all appearance of evil, just straight to the point. We're supposed to abstain from even the appearance of it, how it even, you know, is uh, perceived from the outside. Matter of fact, I'm going to look up this word appearance. It's um, G1491. It says the external or outward appearance from figure, shape, form, kind. It says view. Figuratively, appearance, fashion, shape, sight, 
So just how it's looked at, you know, how, how it's seen. So, you know, we just got to be careful on how, you know, we get down, how we, how we, how we deal in, in this life, because, you know, uh, you definitely don't want to want to cause someone else to, to slip up by just the appearance of what we doing. Cause you don't, you don't know who's watching, but we know who's watching though. You know, the heavenly father and his son, we know that the main ones are watching, but we don't, we don't know who's out there. That is, you know, looking, you know, so let me get this. Let me keep going. It says, it says, uh, verse, uh, Verse 15, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him for all that is in. So, you know, your mouth could say you love your heart, but if it, if it don't line up with what the scriptures say, if it don't line up, you know, with, you know, the actions that's showing, that's why scripture also says, uh, uh, be ye doers of the word and not just hearers only deceiving your own selves. Cause you know, you could have a, we could have a good talk, you know, we could say, all the right things at the right time with the right people. But what are, are our actions showing? That's what, you know, that's what I look at more than anything. A person could talk all they want, but what's your actions show? Actions, that's that saying, actions speak louder than words. Well, verse 16, it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, these are the things that get can get us caught up. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the father, but is of the world. That's how the world get down. The world is 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 engulfed in the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride. You know, that's why they're not. That's why you got two thirds. Two thirds of you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Six point was it sixty six point six percent of you are are going to be done away with because a hey, it's set up that way. You know that you ain't right. You know it ain't you ain't right. It's and this ain't something that we could give you. It's not something that we could make uh, make you believe. It's because it's only for the elect. You know, and it's always gonna be that way. So that's why we pray and hope that we are of that elect because we, you know, we came into this and we see, you know, what what this is about and how how serious it is. So it says. Verse 17, and the world passes away. Yeah, this place, meaning this this rulership of Esau, Edom, his his uh, dominion, his power that he has over here in Babylon, you know, is, is going to fall, man. This, this world is going to be done away with. Not the whole entire world, but the world, the rulership, the, the power, his, this here in, in, the, in the U.S. of the A., is going is it's going to be done away with. It says, "And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever." You know, we doing what's necessary to store up our riches in heaven. We looking for the eternal. We looking for forever, forever. We not looking for the that uh, immediate, immediate gratification, and that's what the lust of the you know lust of the flesh, you know lust of the eyes that's what it does it's it's immediate gratification but we see you know long term that's why we we could you know turn from i'm not fucking with the woman that's married i'm not that has a man i'm not i'm not dealing with her that's just off limits that's just like no matter how bad she is no matter how much she throw throwing it at you hey that's that's a it's a that's a no-no you know that's something we gotta we gotta run away from if need be so i'm gonna get this one this is uh John 15. Wait, hold on. Yeah, John 15 and <clears throat> and 19. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you, I, he's chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. So don't be tripping that, you know, you're going to get hate. Like who he think he is? Why? 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 Why is she going? You know, separating themselves from. Why they don't celebrate the holidays or why they don't do birthdays or why they don't do? You know, you don't get involved with all that. Why they don't eat the, the pork? They think they too good. 
You know, is when you when you endeavor to do better, those that ain't don't want to do better are going to do their best to, you know, pull you down. That's that crab in the bucket, and especially among our people, the other nations too, because they, you know, they licking on our swords. They getting, but they do it in a point where they able to to take from us. You know, they able to get money from us. And Jacob spend with these damn. We, we, you know, I understand we can't help it, but you're going to a store with with a goddamn uh, uh, East Indian and knowing that he hates you, how he treats you, how he, you know, how he deals with you, that he doesn't respect you and you'll spend your money with him. We, hey, money, money talks, you know? So you, you may say you only spend a little, but your little go a long way after so much, so much time. And so fuck him. Don't go to that corner store no more. That's a sign note. But anyway, uh, let me get this next one. This is Romans chapter 12. And verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, it starts with the mind. You know, like not getting involved with all these different pagan holidays. You, that's, it starts in the mind first. And then, you know, it starts showing on the outward where you like, nah, I'm straight. I don't, I don't want to, I'm not eating that. You know, I no longer eat pork. You got to take a stand. That's that saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And it's okay to stand, stand firm, stand firm on what you believe, on what Yahweh Bashim al has written. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do we renew our mind? By, by hearing this truth, by constantly hearing this gospel, this helped renew our mind because our mind just, it, it was, it was uh, being programmed with bullshit. The music we was listening to, what we watch, the people we we're around, our association, all the senses that we have, a vision, the visual, the, you know, our hearing, our taste, everything is, is, was being dictated on how we, uh, lived our life. But now once you come to this truth, you start understanding like, Hey, nah. So all those five senses, all those senses start begin to be renewed. So you start changing what you eat, you start changing what you look at. You start changing what you hearing, touching, you know, your whole, your whole, you begins to do a 180. So it says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. It's, it's the will of Yahweh Shemiah Shah for us to, you know, be transformed to change. He said he's he's chosen you. You know, Lord will we are those chosen because we know many are called for your chosen, but Lord will we are those chosen. You know, you take hold of this truth. Hey, run with it. Run with it. This is Galatians chapter 1. And verse 10 says, For do I now persuade men or the most high? Like who 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 do you want to be approved by? By men or Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? Says, or do I seek to, pl to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. And that's what we want to be. We want to be servants of not these people now of course we serve one another but we're not here to please be be the pleaser of one another we're here to please Yahweh Shai. and the way that we do that is to show our love towards one another meaning the brothers you know those that's in that have have awakened to this truth that's the way we show you know we show our love to Yahweh Shai because we can't physically go and give Yahweh Shai a hug we can't physically give alms we can't physically give words of encouragement but we could do that to, with one another so let me get this next one matthew 6 and 24 no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high in mammon. You can't be on both sides. <coughs> you can't say, okay, I'm going uh, to celebrate these holidays just this one more time. And then I'm going to, no, if you have heard this truth, it's in your best interest to, to do what you know. Because hey, if not, a hey, judgment can come and it could come swiftly, you know, by so many different ways. Six million ways to die. And he'll choose one. 
So we got to be careful on how we how we deal. You know, this is this is a, a life and death situation that we dealing with. And it's true. This ain't nothing to play with. This is nothing, nothing to play with. So let me get this next one. This is a uh, last one. I'm closing on this. So to hell with this world. It ain't got nothing to offer you. If you if you, uh, you know, forsaken this world, hey, continue to, you know, don't turn back thinking that you you are missing out on something. You know, the scriptures say be wise as serpent, harmless as doves. So, you know, be wise out here. How you how you deal, what you do, what we what we doing out here, how we how we deal. You know, sometimes you just got to take the L. You just got to. Uh, what the scriptures say, uh, agree with thy adversary quickly. Sometimes the adversary ain't always got to be a cop. It could be just a two third male or female. You're going to come up against and sometimes just, you know, you got it, you know, let them have the right away, whatever, it, you know, just hey, we endeavor to live peaceable with all men here. But that don't mean that we engulfed in this world, though, you know, so this is James chapter four. <clears throat> in verse four it says, ye adulterers and adulteresses know ye not. That the friendship of the world is enmity. Let me get this word. I'm going to read this world is enmity. Let me get this word. Enmity. It's G2189. It says hostility by implication or reason for opposition. Hatred. So. Let me read it again. Yeah, adulterers. 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 And adulteresses, know ye not, excuse me, that the friendship of the world is enmity, you know, at odds is our enemy, you know, is hatred with the most high. It says, for whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high. So if you want to be an enemy of Yahweh Shemel Shah, go ahead and get yourself involved with this world so you can see the results of it. We endeavor to be on the winning team and the winning team. A lot of times it's, it's going against the grain. It's not going with the grain here in Babylon. It's, hey, so you got all these things that's going on in, in Babylon, people getting uh, getting in a celebratory type of time right now. Hey, it's in our best interest just to, you know, kick back and watch. You know, we're about to come into a so-called new year. We know it ain't the new year, but, you know, uh, they got it set up as their new year. We'll be, you know, chanting down this place while everybody, you know, looking forward to new resolutions and, you know, what they're going to do different. Hey, we they they looking forward to another year. They looking what they're going to do more in this world, how they could get more and more engulfed and entangled and, and trapped up into this world, how they could dig uh, deeper and deeper. They digging their own graves. It's like they digging and digging and digging. And then they looking up like, fuck. Thinking it's something down, you know, below, but not knowing you just burying your own, you just burying yourself. So, Lord will, this is edifying to the elect. Until next time, Lord will. Shalom.